Southern Indiana are headed back to the classroom this morning. New Albany Floyd County Schools is offering a hybrid model, allowing students to learn at school if they want to or stay at home. We have Brooke this morning live in Floyd County. Brooke, what changes can students and staff expect to see today? It's going to be quite different for everyone that's going to be coming into these buildings starting today, going through the rest of the year. Of course, everything's subject to change over at Floyd's Knobs Elementary. You're going to see that social distancing the moment you walk inside. Everything is three to six feet apart, which is the recommendation for students at that age. Now, you usually have about 800 students that would be going through the building today, and only about 100 of them are choosing to stay home. That's about 12% of the student body who will kick off the school year virtually this week. The rest will walk through these halls for the first time in five months. We've spent the entire summer planning, so we feel confident about bringing them back. Uh, where the journey goes, we don't know. At Floyd's Knobs, everyone will wear a mask, and everything will be scheduled down to the minute to keep as much distance between students and staff while in and out of the classrooms. We've got X's on the floors, we've got little circles on the carpet, and what we want to do is um, in thinking about it from a child's perspective if you're six if you're five you really don't know what social distancing means and you certainly don't know what it looks like so what we did is we provided visuals all throughout our hallways so kids will know exactly where they need to be there are grab and go carts for breakfast lunch will take place in the cafeteria and the gym where assigned seats will mimic those in their classroom and art PE and music will all be held online these are the plans in place right now, but they're always subject to change. I'm ready. This building has been empty for too long. We need to get our kids here. Now, the health department will be monitoring any cases that pop up within these buildings very closely, and then decisions will be made from there. Today, beginning for the first day of school and onward, we will see those teachers getting their temperatures checked every single time they walk into that building and random temperature checks for those students again throughout the week. So by the end of the week, everyone has had their temperature taken at least once. Live in Floyd County, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News. Seems like a good plan. Thank you, Brooke.